Hi there. Wanna observe some crowd? Yeah, thought so. All right, coke, chips, and roll it. Oh, the uh, cops. <laughs> Wie kann man denn so bescheuert sein? Wie kann ich denn fünf Meter den Bullen in den Arsch reinkriechen? I don't get it either how idiotic one can be, but also I don't get why those cops didn't pull this guy over. Apparently, stupidity is not illegal. You gotta be really active with your lifetime, can't waste precious minutes by only driving. You don't need both hands for steering, enhance your productivity by using your other hand. For example, by writing a message on your phone, whatever could go wrong. According to your common car driver, nothing could ever go wrong. Passing right before a hill, why not? Same goes for passing right before a corner. And these cops here also don't do anything about it. Do they think too that it's perfectly safe? Well, apparently everybody here seems to be thinking so. Are the crash statistics lying to us after all? No, I don't think so. Nothing but pure luck keeps these amoebas alive. And of course, the same principle also goes for cyclists. But as I said, no time to be wasted. Banzai! But hey, our brilliant traffic system sometimes gives incentive for creative behavior. Uh, lol, it was ja absolutely unnötig. Oh yeah, okay. No, that's not a finger. But the biker doesn't seem to be cheering anyway. But despite any possible anger about our man staying on the left lane, such a passing is not a good idea if you don't coincidentally happen to be a huge wheelchair enthusiast. A bike lane and a cyclist on it. What does that mean for the driver? Absolutely nothing. No engine means it doesn't really exist. Does your cabinet miss a drawer? <laughs> not a surprise when you are not securing your load to the slightest. A double solid, what does that mean? Double the speed! Check out these cars in front of us. And that happens when people stop for others to enter the road, even though you are on the main road. We already got so many yielding regulations in Germany, people should simply go by them, the other one is not gonna die by waiting 10 seconds until the road is clear. Though we gotta admit, we don't see the traffic in front of those cars. Maybe the other one couldn't keep going. In any case, it's the fault of the rear driver, because guess what? Attention and distance are actually good for something. In this case here, it seems to be a close call, but no actual hit. Hopefully that driver learned something this day. Somebody else might need a lesson in patience. You got it, pal. Here we got a road work zone, which is why it's currently a one-way street. Ja, das ist ja mal anders mutig, Alter. This guy here is playing a trendy new sport. Make as many driving maneuvers being as pointless as possible. Doesn't look too bad for a recall, does it? He wants to leave the freeway too. Until he doesn't. And here we got yet some more cops who don't do anything about BS happening right around them. What's so in those? Hmm, yielding regulations. Can you repeat that real quick? No? Oh, okay. Oh, look over here. There's riding some big brain power. The light is red, so he swerves around like if he only went over the red pedestrian light. And that makes it totally better and legal. Major loophole discovered. If you would drive here, would you be safe about who's exactly got right of way? 
Since we want to go straight, we got right of way. But this Honda seems a little lost with the road structure here. And there we get a random bike NPC spawning out of nowhere. Always be especially cautious around emergency vehicles. Overtaking a truck in a blind corner at 150 kph when the max speed in Germany out of town is 100? I'm perfectly safe, I guess. I am sure there has never been anybody losing control and smashing into a tree. Who's got right of way? It doesn't matter. Or does it? No, it does not. Oh, lovely road, lovely weather. Isn't it so enjoyable when you... Damn! An ambulance is approaching from behind. I think it would be an idea to get that middle lane cleared. But this is of course not happening, because I know of personal experience that people never check for what is going on behind them. Humans think they are so sophisticated, but in fact, the way many people think isn't any more complex than a house fly. People are usually like, I want to go forward so I only need to know what's going on in front of me. That's already bad enough, but it's even worse because they can only process like the next 20 meters in front of them. Driving in a forward-thinking fashion? Not happening. Which is also why all lanes are getting blocked again immediately. But! If there is free space for emergency vehicles, it is also free for use for those special and important people. So, the emergency vehicle and your majesty have passed. So apparently the emergency corridor is not needed anymore and could get populated again. It's impossible that another vehicle needs to get through, right? Well, that must be the case when everybody is thinking this. Including the camera driver. You made a wrong turn? No problem, you could check out the next possibility to turn around, or simply reverse on the spot. All the others will watch out for you and take care that your ass doesn't end up in a burning wreck. <laughs> you can use a similar mentality if you want to turn around on this freeway exit lane. What a gorgeous idea, beautiful! Absolutely beautiful! The left lane is about to end. What would you do on the middle lane? Uh, how lovely could traffic be? If everything would work out as sweet as this year. Uh, two people on such a tiny scooter, we were just delivered an example why that is not such a good idea. Doesn't seem like something bad happened here, as long as they stay in side roads with that thing, everything's fine. We are in France with a speed limit of 110, and if cops are exceeding that, it would be just the right thing to do to follow them with the same speed. See Roadwork zone on the freeway. Our man is already passing others, but traffic doesn't let us go faster. Of course, there's always gotta be somebody who is not satisfied with how things are working out, and this Audi driver apparently forgot his patience pills at home. What an achievement! Big applause until... The dirty scumbag brake checks us and asks for his license to be terminated permanently. Oh god, this pedestrian crossing is so narrow that this driver had no chance but to scrape his wheels along the curb. OMG, parking cars, whatever should I do? Take other people's lane, obviously. OMG, the road goes in a slight curve, whatever should I do? Simply nothing. Let's have a peek at Italy, where the driving culture is a different one. And a 
it's a lovely weather here. What if we radically turn that around? Apparently in early summer there was some ridiculous rain in central Germany. And when roads are starting to seriously get flooded with water, you should either not drive if not needed, or try to take a detour because cars are not made for those masses of water. Vehicles are losing parts and getting damaged left and right without touching anything solid. But a lot of water at high velocity also delivers quite the force. Anybody who likes to jump from a large tower in the swimming pool knows that. The sewers have no chance to contain all this water as we see here. And seeing all this, I got some important advice for you that can save your car should you ever get in such a situation. Try to completely avoid serious bodies of water with your car. Or if you can't, pass them very slowly. I know many people want to get out of such a mess as fast as possible. But exactly that can kill your ride. Without getting too technical, your car needs two elements for your combustion engine to work. Fuel and air. Fuel comes out of the tank, and air? Well, air is all around you, but where exactly does it get into the engine? Of course, somewhere in the engine bay. So the important thing is, if you are going too fast through such bodies of water, your car will generate a big wave in front of it. This wave splashes through the radiator and into the air inlet nozzle in the engine bay. Fuel and air is good. But fuel and water is everything but good and has the potential to completely destroy your engine for good. Take a look at this modern Mercedes ahead there. Pretty young engine and he's certainly not standing there because he likes the spot so much. He might have just killed his engine with water and hydro locked it. And to replace a somewhat new engine is very goddamn expensive. The next driver behind the Mercedes seems to be asking for the same fate. Uh, this weather really isn't suitable for driving, so what about leaving that car at home and uh, row the boat? Uh, that's something you don't see every day. Alter! Digga, nicht dein Ernst, Junge! Es ist doch jetzt nicht wahr, Mann! That was quite a hit to the old fox of our camera driver. And you may not see that much from the outside, but that boat caused major damages down there. And the result are damages of 4,000 bucks, which is probably more than the whole value of the car. Oh well, I was talking to our man, and today he is driving a BMW E36. It may be older than the Fox, but still a very nice car if properly maintained. Alright, that's it for KO number 122. You guys go enjoy yourselves, and I will do just the same now. Or, instead of enjoying myself, I'd rather go enjoy a good pizza. Ah, yeah, sounds like a plan. Cheerio!